first thing I'd like to do usually when I'm looking at a PCAP is sort of just get sort of my bearings and, and understanding what's going on. So the place that does that for me is under statistics, under capture file properties. And this is going to give us a ton of information, more so like metadata about packet capture, just so we know what we're dealing with, right? Other thing to sort of, again, get my bearings here is to look at what protocols are we even dealing with, right? And we can do that under protocol hierarchy, but it's basically giving us like a tree-like structure or like a folder-like structure of what actual protocols were speaking to each other in this packet capture, right? So another thing we can do under statistics here is go under conversations, but we can see, you know, who was talking to who in this capture, right? What IP address was talking to which IP address? Because we have 134 in all of these entries, this is sort of the link between them, right? This IP address of 134, 209, 197.3. So I'm assuming this is the endpoint in question. If we sort by packets A to B, we can see where the bulk of the conversation was occurring between, and it looks like it's 146 going to 134. And so could be our attacker, at least in this sort of cyber range scenario where we, again, don't have much traffic to go off of. And so when we think about our investigative questions, we could say, I think 146.190.21.92 is our attacker because XXY, right? Now we can start doing analysis to sort of dive in and sort of either support our hypothesis or challenge it, right? That's the kind of way I like to structure investigations.